Hi, plumbing professionals, and welcome back to another, albeit unorthodox, episode of the Plumbing Webmasters podcast. I'm Madison. I'm Amberlynn. And today we are here to continue our conversation about reviews, which we started a few weeks ago before all the um, COVID-19 stuff went down. Uh, we are fully embracing isolation here. Uh, at the same time, we hope that you guys are doing well and happy and healthy. So let's, uh, let's backtrack real quick. Last time we talked about Google reviews. Now, why are Google reviews important, Amberlynn? Because they help to go with your SEO and improve your search ranking online. On top of that, it's a great way for customers to connect with other customers and kind of build up your reputation, make you an authority within your field as a plumber. Nice. You said that very uh, concisely. So yeah, good for Google, local SEO specifically, good for your prospective clients, helps build trust. So that's one reason to get Google reviews. However, in our current situation and in future situations, it is possible that Google reviews may be temporarily suspended. Right now, uh, people can submit reviews, but they will not be posted online, nor can you write responses to reviews at this time. Now, this is primarily to protect uh, customers or protect businesses from false claims of giving customers COVID-19. Uh, and that's, that's actually a very uh, healthy uh, reason to suspend them for now. However, there are some great uh, alternative sources for reviews, aren't there, Amberlynn? For sure. And the first one I'd like to talk about is, of course, if you remember, my favorite, Facebook. <laughs> Yes, Facebook is a review platform because mm -hmm. of the business profiles that we discussed in a previous podcast. Mm -hmm. Now, Facebook reviews or Facebook re recommendations, as they're popularly known by, are very much a like a pass-fail system. If you pass, you have gained a recommendation. If you fail, people have said, said that they don't recommend your business. And of course, those aggregate ratings pull into a five-star system, which is very similar to other uh, review platforms. For sure. Now, what's the particular benefit of uh, Facebook recommendations? They're actually highly shareable. So when they create those recommendations, um, it can pop up on their profile as well as on your business profile. And from mm -hmm. there, they can share that out to friends and family who can then share it out to whoever they want to their profile and go visit your business profile. So it's like a huge wide net that you're casting, not just on friends and family, but friends of friends and friends of family. Mm -hmm. Friends of friends and friends and family. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> say that five times fast plumbers. If you can, if you dare. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, Facebook, like Amberlynn said, is a very social place and it's a very great uh, way to get the word out on your business. Now you can share those reviews with people. If you like, you could even, we'll, we'll talk about this more later, share them on your website. Now, that's something just to consider for now. Now with Facebook, there are some things to take into consideration. One, with more people showing up, leaving reviews on your website and more people than ever before uh, looking at your Facebook business profile, you'll need to make sure that all hands are on deck to respond to anybody who asks you a question there. After all, you do have your contact information and your, uh, and your other posts, don't you, Amberlynn? Yes, for sure. So because you created that Facebook business profile, you can go out and post to it to interact with people. People have all that engagement with you. They can like, share, follow your page. Um, on top of that, you have all of your contact information. So there is no way they can miss contacting you in that respect. Mm -hmm. Now, theoretically, you could even take a particularly glowing Facebook recommendation and uh, turn it into an ad of sorts and uh, promote that as well. And uh, as we've talked about before, Facebook is a really great, um, highly customizable platform for advertising. Oh, yeah. Uh, if, Yes. If you haven't, if you haven't uh, listened to us uh, on our social media uh, bare essentials package, make sure you go back and watch that uh, podcast. Yeah. So what's our next platform, Amberlynn? 
Our next platform is Yelp. Now, Yelp has a little bit of history behind it. Unfortunately, a lot of times when you hear the word Yelp for reviews, people tend to think towards the negative, which is not yeah. necessarily the case. Yeah, that's that's very that's a very good point. Yelp has almost a um, it's almost a threatening reputation. People threaten to go on Yelp and leave poor reviews, but at the same time, that sort of um, that sort of covers up the positive aspects of Yelp. Uh, for instance, people tend to be more open when they're sharing positive information about service that you provided as well. Now, that just means that you'll need to be more consistent with asking people to leave reviews there if that's a, a platform that you decide to invest in. And it's a great opportunity, uh, especially now, because Yelp is taking such great steps to protect people from false COVID-19 claims, aren't they? Yeah, man. Actually, I was reading up on all the things they are doing at this time. Um, Yelp really wants businesses and small businesses to thrive, despite all the kind of setbacks we're looking at with the actual pandemic. So what they're doing is they have more stringent content guidelines. And in this sort of usage content means reviews so they're reviewing what people say about your business because a lot of people go on there and they'll say oh you're not open at the times that you used to be open not considering the pandemic or oh um i'm gonna go ahead and say you gave me covid when it's one of those things where it's such a long incubation period that's not valid so yelp is trying to go ahead and put that aside so your business doesn't have to worry about it at all. Another cool thing, and verify <laughs> verify for me, Madison, um, <laughs> they're connecting up with like GoFundMe and different platforms to go ahead and try to help small businesses, especially restaurants, but small businesses at this time with the um, kind of drawbacks of COVID right now. Yeah, Amberlynn, I think it was GoFund, GoFundMe. Um, and they've definitely been trying to help businesses that have been incapacitated uh, by this current situation. Um, now, that might not be as applicable to uh, plumbers at this time, but it's still a great, it shows that they're making effort to keep businesses thriving during this time and maybe a little more reason to think about them for your reviews collection in the future. Now, that takes us to our final platform that we're going to be talking about today, and that is the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. Now, <laughs> sorry, why don't you go ahead? No, it's cool. The Better Business Bureau, we all, or the BBB, as a lot of us shorthand it, um, mm. is great normally when you think of businesses getting that like A rank, um, but on the other side of it, it's great for customers that are trying to get top reviews or leave top reviews for businesses. Um, sorry, I got a little mixed up. It's the home. It's um, going stir crazy with isolation. No, not so much. Lots of work <laughs> to be done. I promise you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but on top of all that, Another thing that they have going on is they're offering resources for businesses and for consumers during this time on the actual COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, so I've heard that a lot of businesses will review those and then they will go ahead and say, these are our policies and you can offer that out to customers so that they can feel a little bit more safe, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's a great point. And really, any review platform that is doing such a good job of supporting both businesses and consumers and making sure that both of their voices are heard uh, is one that you want to be considering, uh, especially during uh, times when Google reviews are temporarily down. Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this, but, uh, well, heck, yeah, I was definitely going to mention it. Uh, we did a study the other day on a few hundred uh, different consumers. And uh, in our poll, we found that when people were going online to shop for a, a business or to shop for a, a contractor, um, that the Better Business Bureau, just behind uh, Google reviews, was the second most popular place that they were going to look first. So you def they definitely have a prestigious uh, uh, reputation among consumers, which means it should be important for your business as well. 
Now with that, why don't we go ahead and jump into our next segment here, which is how to ask for reviews. That can be just as important, uh, can it, Amberlynn? Yes, it can. Now, we've talked about how to collect reviews. Uh, why don't we go ahead and shift in towards how to ask for reviews? Or I should say, we went from where to ask for them to, how to now how to ask them. Um, planning out this process is extremely important, um, both communicating or uh, knowing what you're going to communicate with prospective clients and explaining that and training your team on how to convey that as well. Now, you can go through all the planning uh, in the world, and if you don't train your different plumbers how to ask for reviews, then your actual acceptance rate and even the ratings themselves could take a, a hit as a result. Now, what would you say is step one, Amberlynn, for planning out that process? Step one for planning out that process is going to really be to go to your businesses, Yelp, Facebook, BBB, and then try to find the URLs that are going to be relevant. If you have those on hand, um, it's going to be super easy to pass out. Uh, on top of that, you want to go ahead and kind of write the steps for how you're going to, you or your plumbers are going to interact with the customers. So, okay, step one, greet them. Step two, reference. Step three, give URLs, so on and so forth. Because with a, ga a good game plan, you can kind of knock that out of the park on site the first time. Mm -hmm. um, but then, of course, you always can email the customer or text them as well, which is our next step to try to get them to that review site. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, as much as possible, you want to be intimately familiar with each step of the process when it comes to submitting a review through those platforms. Uh, I would even say go up through the entire process and stop just short of submitting the review just so you can be as familiar with it as possible. Now, as Amberlin said, whenever you are considering your options for requesting that review, you want to make sure to use one that works for you. Now, most plumbers that we've talked with, they have the greatest success whenever they make that request within a short window of their service visit. And that's going to be at maximum within a week of, of submitting that service. Maybe a month if you're doing a large contracting job, um, but I wouldn't say beyond that, would you, Amberlynn? Nah, a month is really, you're given way too much time where things can kind of fade from the memory. And it could even be like, they're just walking around, and it's a completely different plumbing issue than what you came out for. But now that has jaded the initial affair of you re repairing their plumbing. Um, That's a good so, point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so asking for a review at that time, um, it might be like, oh, well, what about this? And that could affect their ranking for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even if nothing goes wrong during the service, you know, there's just a natural fading of enthusiasm that goes on. And that could be the difference between four stars or five stars in your review uh, or just not receiving a review at all, which is actually worse. Now, if you're worried about a particular person, like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna leave me a perfect review, um, you know, you can pick and choose on, on some level, but you wanna go ahead and um, ask people consistently for reviews, um, even if you don't know if it's gonna be perfect or not. For one, people are very much okay and even prefer um, four-star ratings, um, even three-star ratings sometimes, but stick with four if you can, uh, just because it makes your business seem more real uh, and uh, legitimate in your, um, in your ratings. I had to think there for a moment. Um, so as much as possible, be consistent with sending those texts, those emails, um, if not the day of, uh, the day after. Um, you need to remind them and communicate how important reviews are to your business. Um, and if possible, if you're taking extra steps to protect them during the, uh, the COVID-19 situation, ask them to talk about it as well. People will definitely appreciate that when that shows up in the review. 
Good point. Now, just because we say that you don't want to go ahead and shoot a message out like a month later doesn't mean you shouldn't follow up after that initial text or email, mm -hmm. I, um, which is a critical step because it may be without that one week window. It may be before that one month ago, but if you follow up, it will remind people to give you a review within the time frame of it still being like, oh, that was an awesome plumbing repair. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, having a good follow-up process in place is a, is a good idea as well. Uh, maybe having a standard email that you just insert the person's name into so it still feels personalized. That's a way to maybe increase the number of reviews you get, um, maybe by 5% or so. Who knows? It would definitely be worth it, and that adds up over the course of a year. For sure. And it also kind of builds even better customer rapport. So you can say, hey, thanks for having us out there to repair your blah, blah, blah. I would even go so far as to include the service you completed as well as their name. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top, you could say, while we appreciate review or while we would appreciate a review, depending on the status um, of the situation, could you also go ahead and refer us to any friends or family that might require plumbing services mm. and let them know that we are very concerned with their safety and making sure their plumbing is flowing during this time. Yeah, that is a, that is a great point. And it's definitely thinking beyond the review itself, which, which actually takes us into our next section. So thinking beyond uh, the review is a very healthy and yet fairly rare thing for plumbers to do these days. Once they secure the review, they often think, okay, I won, but there's actually a lot of things that you can do with that review. For instance, uh, you can share it on social media like Facebook. For sure. See, Facebook is the best. So mm -hmm. you can go ahead and even use that review as a way of connecting with that customer. You can share it to your profile and say, look at this awesome review we got from at person's name. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, you can even put it as a picture in your story and then tag mm. that person and say, thank you so much for this awesome review. And it increases that engagement and shareability we were discussing earlier. Mm. Heck, if it's a good enough story, you might even make it a promoted post or a uh, Facebook ad and you can get some pretty great uh, advertising generated from customers that way. Heck yes. That is a great idea, actually. Now, one other idea, and this is, this is something I've actually seen in the past. Ooh, it's raining outside. That's not the idea. That's not the idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing that you can do is to keep a, a track record of reviews that you've received, maybe in a spreadsheet or a Google Doc, something like that. Uh, keep the names associated with them and then create a cool little graphic with a bunch of the best reviews that you've gotten over the year. That's something you could put on your website and show people, hey, check out our awesome customer service. Uh, this is what Sally from Toledo said, if you work in Toledo. That's actually uh, a pretty cool idea, though, and it's a great way to increase the SEO as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not you bragging if your customers said it. See, yes, even more beneficial. But you know what's another good way you can do? Uh, keep your reviews going with check-ins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a great, perfect moment to uh, plug our brand review platform. Uh, with our, uh, our check-ins uh, software, you can automatically prompt people to, uh, to surrender, <laughs> to submit, <laughs> surrender. To, to, to submit <laughs> reviews, not surrender them. And, uh, you know, you can also get the sweet uh, geotagging data for your local SEO that way. Um, but if you don't have brand reviews, you can try out uh, Facebook check-ins. Um, those are a, a great visible way to show people uh, where your work is going on these days and to show people that you're still working um, hard for their benefit. Right. And it also shows your service area as well. So as people can still go, oh, they're in my area. I can get my plumbing fixed. Yeah. Now, there's something that you want to keep in mind during this entire process. And we've touched on this um, a good deal already. Um, make sure that you're taking proactive steps to communicate what you're doing to keep people protected during this time. Um, 
unlike, you know, like a roofing contractor or somebody who, you know, doesn't interact with customers as much, um, plumbers have a very um, interactive job uh, when it comes to dealing with clients because you have to explain things, you want to show them how things work, and COVID-19 or whatever next, you know, disease or outbreak of the distant future happens uh, is something that you'll need to take active steps to protect them from. And it's changing the way that plumbers work. So if you can um, dissuade um, a customer's fears by communicating what you're doing in advance, that's all the more reason for them to choose your business instead of somebody who hasn't taken the effort. For sure. It's going to show them that you really care. Because remember, you are in the home. Your entire job is within their home. So it shows that you're really, you want to do the work for them, but you really care during this time about keeping them safe. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, if a professional came to to your home and went through all of these activities uh, to keep you safe on top of giving exceptional customer service and results during this time, I bet you would feel like being a long-term customer, wouldn't you? For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's something to keep in mind, y'all. Anyway, we've been talking about um, alternative review sources for a while. Why don't we close out here with our our typical, um, uh, not mantra, our typical... Our traditional takeaway. Our tr tradition, yes, our takeaway. Yes. yes. So, Amberlynn, what would be your one takeaway that you would have for plumbers if you wanted them to remember it most of all? Um, my one takeaway for plumbers would be um, just because Google is currently not doing reviews, you still have outlets you can choose. Um, and don't hesitate to ask for reviews. Still, still a very important part of getting your business out there and building that community. Mm -hmm. And that communication is very important, which is my takeaway. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Uh, tell people what you're doing to keep them safe and communicate with your employees uh, how they're to ask for reviews during this time. If you can plan out that process and effectively tell them what to do uh, in advance, you're going to dramatically improve your, improve your uh, volume and quality of reviews collected. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys for uh, listening in and taking the time out of your day. Um, we hope that you are happy, healthy, and safe and uh, active during this time. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below or to shoot us a quick call, and uh, we'd be happy to do what we can for you. Uh, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time.